Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence, and in today's video, I am definitely going to show you another type of gemstone, Lapis Lazuli. Uh, it's funny, a while back I used to pronounce them Lapis Lazuli, which is entertaining to say, but it's not the right pronunciation, it's Lapis Lazuli. First time I saw one was in Minecraft. <laughs> but anyway, I've got two little slabs here. They're flat, if you can see them. I got these from a spiritual store near my house. Weren't that expensive. Um, lapis lazuli has been used frequently in heightening your spiritual uh, senses. Um, they are good in terms of uh, honing your psychic abilities, including astral projection. So if you're doing astral meditation, they are definitely a good gemstone to use. Um, especially because they are the color indigo, which works well with your third eye chakra, which is in charge of spiritual enlightenment and spiritual abilities. So that is what makes them so good to use in such things. Now, because of that, I want to make it very, very clear. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. Use them with caution. I had a very disturbing incident once where I used these and... I was terrified. I know a lot of you are probably like, what? You were terrified? What What happened? Well, uh, I was in the midst of uh, trying to learn astral projection. This was before I learned it. And I heard that lapis lazuli could help me if I placed it underneath my pillow while I slept, and it would give me um, more spiritual vibrations so that I could break away from my dream state and go right into astral projection. Um, wanting to be very eager and um, wanting to be very successful in the endeavor, I placed both pieces like these under my pillow. I had some very funky dreams. Uh, they were very vivid. I remember they they were very real and I remembered them I woke up and I remembered them but there was a part of the dream where it freaked me the out so in the dream I live in a basement I was walking up the stairs when I heard something behind me. I looked back, I saw snow on the ground. It was weird. And I noticed these two girls skiing. They were, it was like they were on a snowy mountain, but I'm like, what? So I walked back down the basement and I looked around. I was on this snowy mountain. I didn't see the girls, but then, as I kept panning myself around, slowly it came back to the basement the, the way it looked. And I'm like, oh. And there was this guy sitting at the table that's down there. I didn't recognize him. He was a young guy, I want to say in his uh, early to mid-twenties. Um, he had uh, darker skin, black hair... He was wearing jeans and uh, just a regular t-shirt. I mean, he looked like pretty much an average guy, but I didn't recognize him. There was a gun on the table. And I was like, Wait, what? What's going on? He picked it up and put it to his head and shot himself. And I remember I'm like, oh my God. And I could see the blood and the gore. The blood was splattered everywhere. And then he just collapsed onto the table. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. Then I heard these two female screams. 
and they were like high pitched in my ear and I just kept hearing them over and over again which caused me to wake up in the middle of the night it was pitch dark I was terrified I had goosebumps I was unable to move because I was so terrified about everything that was happening everything I saw now as far as I know there has never been a death here I don't really know uh, the full history of this house, but I'm sure, as sure as I can be, that there never was a suicide or murder here. Um, don't think there's been any deaths, but I don't know. So I don't know if it was because of the vibrations from these that caused me to see something more. Uh, some, maybe something was trying to send me a spiritual message that I, I got a little bit too much of a strong connection for, but I remember the few nights after that, I was afraid to close my eyes to go to sleep. I was afraid I would have that dream again. Luckily I didn't, but I took these off my pillow and I, I never had the same dream since. And if I do place these under my pillow, I place one at a time. I don't use two. Um, and then I read in a book later on that says, be careful, these can create a little bit too much of a strong connection and you will start to see things even if you don't want to see them. And I'm like, oh, now you tell me. It terrified me very, very much. And uh, it, it took a while before I was able to actually go to sleep the same way again. Uh, so... Um, it's definitely be careful with the dosage on these. Now, how would you use them? Well, you can place them under your pillow if need be. Um, you can also place them in your pockets while you're either at work or just out and about in your daily life. Um, during meditation, you can place them on your, uh, somewhere on your person. If you got a necklace with one, wear it. If you've got things like these, you can place them on your lap, you know, maybe when you're in lotus position, or if you're lying down for it, um, place them on your third eye because they are indigo, which is the same color as your third eye chakra. So just place it on there like this and um, it should help open your third eye up to the spiritual realm a lot more easily. You can also wear indigo as well um, in your shirts and such. That'd be fine. But uh, using indigo, uh, bleh, using lapis lazuli is useful, but it's very powerful. So be sure to use this in small doses. I wanted to make this video because I didn't want anyone to go through what I went through. Um, a lot of people. Um, on the, in the comments have been saying, I like your videos, I like how well researched and uh, experienced they are, I like how you make sure that everyone's okay and make sure that um, people do things safely and you know what, um, thank you guys so much for uh, supporting me and letting me know that, uh, that you appreciate my videos, it doesn't hurt to, um, to have appreciation and uh, it's because of that that I'm trying a lot harder to post videos more frequently. Uh, pl please be patient with me. Uh, I've got a lot going on, but uh, I will try for you guys because um, I do want people to have this information to be able to use it uh, to have a safe life and a safe spiritual path. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. If you got any comments, questions, concerns, or ideas for videos that I can do, please put them in the comment section down below, and uh, blessed be on your spiritual path.